Hey everybody, it's Lex from Admin Arsenal. Let's go over the OCT for customizing a Microsoft Office installation. Now, I've copied my install files into a directory. The reason I did that, I want to point something out to you. You guys see this admin directory right here? That admin directory will allow me to use the Office customization tool. If I don't have that, it means I'm trying to install from a retail version and this will not work. So, to get into the Office customization tool, you got to call the setup file with a front slash admin, which will fire this up. Now, I'm not going to take you through all the options that are on here. Uh, there's a lot of them. I'm just going to take you through the really important ones um, that will help you build a really uh, quick install customized installation. So, first, let's start at the installation location and organization names. I'm not going to mess with the install path, but I am going to put the organization in. That way, anytime somebody builds an office document, it's going to be tagged with the organization. In this case, it's going to be Deadwood. Um, let's look at licensing. Um, if you've got uh, volume licensing, you want to click here and then enter your volume license key. If you use KMS like we do, click the KMS key. Now, here's the thing. I get a lot of tickets and a lot of questions about, you know, Lex, my install is taking forever, it times out, it doesn't seem to finish, it errors out. Most of the time it's because the parameters set down here at the bottom part of this are not correct. So I'm going to show you how to set these properly for a good silent install. First you want to accept the terms of the license agreement. You then want to take the display level and set it to none because you don't want anything being displayed on the target computer. You also want to suppress the modal and also put a check box in front of no cancel. If you do these things, you're going to have a good silent install. You're not going to have those timeout issues that I seem to get a lot of questions about. Okay. Next, uh, by default, the install wants to remove any previous versions of Office that are out there. So let's say you wanted to keep using Office 20, or it's got not Office, but Outlook 2010. This is where you'd set to say, you know, let's leave Outlook 2010 on. Um, the other thing, uh, by default, the install is going to want to reboot. Now, rebooting is not a bad thing, but we want to control the reboot from PDQ to ploy. So we're going to set the reboot to never. Okay, I do. You do want to do a reboot after you do the install, but let PDQ to control the reboot, not the installation process. Um, and then finally, let's go uh, select the features we want installed. Um, by default, it looks like everything's going in here, but I don't want to install Publisher, so I'm going to make it not available. And at this point, my customization is, is pretty much done. So I'm going to save the file. Now, the important thing about saving this file is that you save it in the same place that your setup file is in. This does two things. It makes it very easy to call when you're calling it to run it and two it makes it very easy for PDQ deploy to deploy it. So you'll notice uh, my office setup is right here next to my setup file which is great. Now if I wanted to call that from the command prompt uh, again call the setup file instead of just using admin I'm going to use admin file and then the name of the MSP file that I just built. Just a pointer on this also, that admin file and the name of the MSP file in PDQ deploy, you would put that on the parameters line in your install step, which is actually, I'm going to make a video on uh, doing an office install with a MSP. So there you have it. There's uh, the office customization tool. Uh, watch our other videos at videos.adminarsenal.com. We'll catch you all later.